my second hotel room already here in Ireland. Listen. <laughs> Banjo player next to me. You'll see it on a lot of postcards and um, tours of Ireland. You see, you see this street. But it's only, it's only short of the street, and a very, very famous pub here on the right hand side, or Connor's right hand side, Connor's pub. There's actually, well, there's four pubs on four or five pubs, but. Okay, we're going to stop here now. Okay. Take, if it's not, like, the Irish monks decided to go into Europe, so one monk would bring 12 other monks with them, and they set off for Europe. And they had the books, they had the knowledge, so they were welcomed by the leaders in Europe. And all over France, and Spain, Germany, they even went as far as Russia. And a lot of the places that they went to, they set up schools of learning, which are now universities. Aaron Island. Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. I love it here. I can't describe the smell. Some people think it's peat moss. It smells so fresh and clean. It's just so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it so much.
one of the more common ones is the geographical layout of Ireland and I suppose to run down through it yeah we have the island of Ireland okay so on the island of Ireland we've got two countries okay we've got Northern Ireland and we've got the Republic of Ireland okay so Northern Ireland has been largely under the control of the British government um, for hundreds of years and sometimes you'll hear the nickname for Donegal is the Forgotten County okay and <laughs> forgotten because the British didn't want it it was too far away and the soil and everything wasn't that good and it's the furthest point or one of the furthest points from Dublin so the Forgotten County okay so there your four provinces Leinster, Munster, Connacht and Ulster <laughs> and then we'll Oh, you think it also mean like five more? So what are you doing? You're just holding a page and saying that one. Well, he mentioned this morning. Oh, yeah, this one. The dancing. So rhythm was everything. Now, you didn't have to have a tune perfect, or you didn't have to have it this way or that way. So long as you could hold the rhythm for the dancers. That was it. No, no, he was heavy by champion boxer of Australia, my first cousin. Wow, yes. that's incredible. Kevin Barry was his name. He died about around this time of Mike Tyson. He yeah. died of a massive oh. heart attack after training. Which one do we look at? This he like fell down on the kitchen. He had a hole in his heart. Oh. It was all over the world in the papers. He was going fighting Mike Tyson with a hole in his heart. Imagine. If an American came over to Doolin, what would you want them to know in this day and age about the music here and how important it is? and how to appreciate it more than just sitting and having a drink and listening? Uh, I would like to see them getting taken part, dancing or something, or contributing a, a story or a song. Because they are, most of the Americans that come here have, are of Irish descent. Mm -hmm. And they have grandfathers and grandmothers, and they understand what we're talking about. So they can participate themselves and enjoy us, and have yeah. the crack with us, mm -hmm. rather than have to be paying all the time to listen to us. Do you know? Yeah. So it's like, it, I do it in the music house, that's what I do, I bring everybody into yeah. it. And I get great stories and mm -hmm. I get great musicians by doing that. Yeah. Do you know okay. what I mean? You yeah. have to, you have to, it works both ways, like everything is both ways. There's no such, there's no superstars in music. Mm -hmm. Ourselves up so right. Right. <laughs> so I'm so, cute now. Nobody leaves. So did you hear about the guy? Did you hear about the banjo player who parked his car in town, left his banjo on the back seat, and forgot to lock the car? He came no. back. He came back with six more banjos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like I'm on television. I know. Yeah, that was a bit I mean, you remember this one more. Um, so I went into a like the second hand shop. So. He's mooching around and he's looking for instruments. And he's like, he can't find any instruments. But he sees in the corner a stuffed rat. And he said, that's that's kind of unusual. So he thought, if I bring that home, I can have a bit of fun with it in the house, bring it down to the pub. So he buys the stuffed rat. He walks out the door. And as he's walking down the street, rats start pouring out of the sewers and out of buildings and they start following him. So he starts running. He's going, there's more rats are running after him, they're coming out of every 
everywhere and he runs and he gets right to the end of town out to the pier and he flings the stuffed rat off the pier and all the rats all jump in and they all drown. He's mystified. He goes back to the shop and uh, you know, he goes, is everything okay with the stuffed rat? He goes, it's absolutely unbelievable. He said, I walked outside with the rat, walked up the street, rats pouring out of everywhere. He said, I'm running threw it in off the pier, all the rats jump in and they all drowned. And uh, the guy in the shop goes, geez, that's a very interesting story. Uh, you know, can I help you? And he says, do you have any stuffed power on players? I'm going to tell that to my power on Can you tell that joke? It was like, it was like some fellow who uh, had to he was going up in front of the priest in school and he could never get it right he was going the wrong way because I was thinking of Christy with the spoons yeah, and he, you know, he blessed yeah, himself yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. and so somebody told him he says this is how I remember it he said spectacles, testicles, wallet and watch <laughs> I'll remember how to do grace in the honor of my son the spoons are impressive Drinks will be bought all over the place, and then they figured out that there were just far, far too many hole in ones for it to be natural, so uh, they curtailed it. So, Robert is a member of that course, right? And that's the type of thing they get up to there. So, that'll tell you the caliber of man you're dealing with. <laughs> Okay, this is how close we are now to the edge. <laughs> I mean, my feet, the edge. My feet, the edge. <gasps> I'm good right here. beat up 
by Ireland today. <laughs> If you're coming over here and you know what routes or you don't know what routes you're going to take in, but you know where you want to go to, do your research the night before, look at all the main roads and travel the main roads. Okay. Don't just type it into Google Maps because you could end up on random roads that you really don't want to be on. So okay. stick to the main roads, look at the signposts, but do your research either the night before or before you get into the car. Do you don't feel just that put it into Google. Is that the safest way or is that kind of like etiquette, like being respectful? No, that's just people? safe. And that's for you. Okay. If you're saying you're nervous coming over here yeah. driving, don't <laughs> don't be worrying about it. But don't just pop it into Google because it could bring you the quickest route, which is probably not really the quickest route. And you could end up on really small roads that you won't be too confident driving. <laughs> I think I would like Americans to understand that what I do is me. It's it's not just something that I do for this, for for gigs and for money. Uh, what I do is for myself. I play music for myself because I enjoy it. I was raised in an environment uh, which is surrounded by traditional Irish music, culture, and just. Um, so much love of our tradition and that's why I'm playing it. I am playing it to pass it on, I'm playing it to enjoy it myself, but I'm also playing it because it's my life, you know, and I think that's what I would like people to understand, that this is not some thing that we do to entertain people. It's, it's that, but it's also so much more. saying about the burn there isn't a tree to hang a man water to drown a man or earth to bury a man I don't know why it's all men that women are not included in this this saying either right but for the purpose of this conversation it's men so if you look around behind me you will not see a tree or you will well there's water out there with the Atlantic Ocean okay thanks everyone all right, for your research only. Yes. Uh, so just looking in front of us here, we've got the pavement landscape of the burn, and it's basically the clints are the kind of flat surfaces, and then the grikes are the gaps in between the pavements. And so during the springtime, we'd get a lot of amazing flowers, alpine flowers and Mediterranean flowers, side by side. Quick, so it's oh, gorgeous. Sorry. Wow. Bob. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's my dad's name, so he's told me that joke about seven hundred times. The typical man so. with the shovel. <laughs> yep. Uh, man with a shovel.
spot, right? This is not the spot. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more tighter space than this, I'd say. No, I just coming down to Guardian Avengers, they were saying there'd be an overhanging oh, right. tree. Really close to you guys. He, we were wondering if he would be able to get the bus under some of the over, oh, that's right, the over yeah, yeah, yeah. No, are they going through there? Yeah. see me moving these things so each of these gives me a semitone so with this down the string would give me would say a C but if I bring it up I get a C sharp so yeah this is it it's a full-size Irish harp Julie's husband is making beautiful harps uh, this would have been the, the salmon head this would have been the design that was on the Brian Baru harp um, a lot of our harpers in the harping tradition were blind uh, and they made their living going around to the landlords um, and so in exchange for accommodation and food, they would be put up and they would then compose some music for maybe the lady of the house or whatever the landlord might do. I really loved uh, Sorka and Jim Rode, who, like, that session was my favorite. And, you know, maybe it was just the songs and the fact that they were kind of younger players and you were kind of hearing the future of Irish music. And it was just, it was very, very cool. Um, mm -hmm. I'll probably remember you scrambling over the fence at the Cliffs of Moore yeah. to, to take uh, photos with banjos um, with the Cliffs in the background yeah. um, with the other banjo crew and everybody just kind of like having a good time and letting loose and being like in the landscape yeah. um, was pretty neat. It's very cool to see all the people on the Discord server that have been here and also like do the workshops with them and learn and meet new people because I've seen a lot of them online and knew, had relationships with them before the trip. And suddenly to, and I've seen them play actually too, you know, they post videos of them playing. So to see them actually, you know, in person and do a workshop with all of these people uh, and Enda, uh, it was, you know, that, it, there's just no, yeah, it's, no, you could put together a workshop with complete strangers and just wouldn't have done the same thing because I know all the people and I've seen them play and I know, yeah, it's, it's, it was, it was very cool. Yeah, and I think as someone who doesn't play um, but enjoys the music, it's been great to go to all these actual Irish locations and just sit and like enjoy the sun or the ocean air and listen to the music in spaces where you wouldn't usually hear it. Um, it's been really special.
back a lot of these peat production areas to the local communities. So I know Andy uh, in Offaly, there's a great example of it in Offaly. <laughs> So we're talking about the, really the intricacies of wearing a kilt, particularly at a social occasion such as a wedding. Uh, after some dancing, the, 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 the men in kilts can get a bit hot, so whilst standing outside having a quick pint to cool down, one says to the other, All right, pal, how's your shuck? And the response usually is, dripping. Um, and therefore you're out there airing yourself um, uh, in order for you back in again. So it's just a technical term. There we go. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on the tour, whether they're playing music or not, um, has a common interest we're sharing. Um, therefore, that makes it very easy. Uh, our, our two hosts, in terms of the, the non-music hosts, Eddie and Robert, make it even easier. They're so welcoming. Uh, they, they, they insisted I join them for dinner with their wives and, and son Liam on the first night, and I thought that was amazing, you know. Um, and um, and uh, you know has made it even more easy in so much as his his welcoming, his hospitality, uh, his his in genuine interest in what we're doing and our backgrounds is just fantastic. When you sit up, stand up, whatever you're doing and play music, you are completely exposed and you're in a new world and you know your you know every duff note you feel will you know be be embedded in your soul forever as a result of it. So you have to go over that, and it is, but the problem is, you just have to get over that, and the only way you go over it is by doing it more and more. So sessions are a great way of doing that, um, and that's what I've learned, going to sessions, playing quietly under the, 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 the volume level of the session until you're confident enough to come through, um, was a tip somebody gave me uh, at one point, that helped a lot. So, uh, uh, so coming on to night one I didn't, I chose not to get my band room, didn't want to. Personally, oh, you I, didn't play night one. Yeah. Right, I just wanted to see what we were doing. Read the room a little. Read the room a little, get a feel for what was going on. That's my style. I like to see what's going on and then say, okay, good. So day two, band is out, we're playing away, and it's never been in the box since, you know. So, uh, But from my perspective, this tour has been amazing. It's just been absolutely amazing. Every day has given such joy, you know, um, and such experiences. You know, so.